hello and happy June. We're in the car. Surprise! The beginning of June is the start of hurricane season here in Florida and starting off, what is today? The 3rd of June? And there's a tropical storm on the way. Wastes no time getting right down to business. My mother's out of town, so I had to run to her house to close her hurricane shutters, if you don't know, in Florida. When there is a storm, you have to cover your windows because the winds get so intense that they will blow your windows out. And if your windows get blown out, then your roof can get blown off. So I had to go close her storm shutters and I'm not putting mine on because they're saying a tropical storm is not really a big deal, but she's out of town. So I just figured I would do it because if things take a turn, getting all the way over there to do it would be a bitch. So I decided to just do that. Now I have a Walmart pickup. I actually ordered um, a few things from Target. I ordered this um, planter. They're having like crazy home sales at Target. So I ordered this hanging planter that I've been kind of wanting just to, I don't need these. Let me turn off my windshield wipers. Um, I'm gonna kind of use it to spruce up my laundry area. Another cool thing that's happening this month is uh, we're cutting a hole in my roof and we're putting these sun tube things in to my roof because the front of my house is very, very dark because the, the way that my house is positioned, it doesn't face like a direct direction, meaning it doesn't face east, west or north, south. It faces at an angle and so the front of my house where my living room and stuff is, it's very dark most of the time. And I spend a lot of time there, like my kitchen and my living room, and it's all one open area. And it's fucking dungeon. So you don't wanna put necessarily a skylight in your roof in Florida because of all of the rain and the storms and they leak and it causes problems. So the next best solution is to put in these sun tubes that basically look like um, lights in your ceiling. They look like, um, like, I don't know, what do you call those? Like flush lights, like can lights, whatever. And so I'm hoping, because we're putting in two of them, that that's gonna really brighten up that room and I'm excited for that. So I will show you that. It's happening next week, I believe. Um, I also got a new chair and a little rug to put under my jewelry station that I had done in last month's vlog. I'll show you that. It's 7 a.m. And this is how dark it is in here. Even though you can see it's light outside, sun's coming up. See how light it is out there. And then this is the kitchen. It's like very dark. The original contractor that removed this wall, I have abundance music on. Yay. I'm still in my pajamas at 7 a.m. Um, they did a horrible job, the initial contractor. And so my contractor that I have now, he's gonna fix all that. But I think I'm gonna put the ceiling tubes, one here and one here. Even though the kitchen is much darker than the living room, I like to evenly distribute more light in the center. So it's gonna be a big project, but this is what is happening today. What's up, buddy? You got new fur cuts. You look so handsome. Yes, you do. You look so handsome. Come here. I gotta do my morning pages now. I haven't done them. I woke up a little late today. So, 
we only ended up putting one in because it's 9,000 degrees out and it got too hot for him to be on the roof. Um, but I'm glad that I waited because now that this is in and I see how much light it's bringing in and what's happening, I think I wanna sit with it to see how the light changes throughout the day because I may actually put the, the new one here instead of here. I'm not actually sure. So we're probably gonna leave it like this for a couple of months, at least until the summer heat is over and it's, you know, a better temperature to be on the roof. And that way I can kind of see how the sun shifts and changes. You can see that the sun is actually going down. So that's west right there. So the sun comes up actually over here behind the house. And this is what it's looking like right now at six o'clock at night. So this is pretty good. I'm really happy with it though. Like, doesn't that make a huge difference? I didn't even know these existed. I am really, really happy with this. Two tiny puppies, 11 pounds eight pounds and they take up the whole bed like can i get in do you mind i'm sorry for the inconvenience no makeup on and it is about to rain so it's pitch black in here i don't even know if i'm going to keep this in the vlog but i just wanted to I don't know what I wanted to do. I got an email from a subscriber who has been just amazingly supportive of my jewelry since it launched. She's purchased so many things and she ordered a, a Harmony necklace and I sent it out to her and she emailed me and she told me that she'd been dealing with terrible grief at the loss of her mother and that you know she orders the jewelry to help her the fact that this jewelry venture that came from a place of my own pain and struggle has turned into something that can help other people with their pain and struggle my hair oh no that's a wire well it's still my hair it's so humbling. I'm so honored, grateful, appreciative that I was able to turn something negative in my life into something positive for other people. It's why I get up in the morning. And, you know, as a creator, it's so hard because sometimes you feel like, why am I doing this? Like, I'm alone all of the time, creating, 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 creating. And sometimes it's lonely, it's challenging, and you wonder like, what, you know, is this worth it? And then you have a moment like that, where you, you get a message from somebody. I saw Gary V say something about this on social media too. He was like, if you can help one person with what you're doing, that's enough. I just figured I'd turn on my camera and um, document myself looking like garbage, but in my feels. Anyway, I'm sitting here practically in the dark because it's about to rain and I'm just answering emails. So here is my updated jewelry situation. I got a new chair. Yes, this is an accent chair. I got it from Target, but I really wanted something that was gonna be super comfortable. I looked at a bunch of chairs. My back is just a mess and I end up in pain all the time. So I loved this because it has this back cushion. It's so cozy. The only thing that kind of sucks is the arm. I wish it didn't have arms, but it is what it is. And then I got this little runner. I, I got, I thought actually it was bigger than it is but i decided to keep it anyway because i really wanted like a separation between the this and 
my workout space and I just wanted something under my feet. I didn't like just the bare floor under my feet. The desk fits on it, you know, it's fine. So I just decided to keep it. So it's just like its own little nook in this room. I didn't want it to like take up more than just like its space. Do you know what I mean? So it still feels kind of separate when I'm working out. It's not like overtaking this space. Right, Range? My boy, he's so good. Is that your squirrel? Where's your squirrel? Everything's a squirrel. It's actually a dinosaur, but it's a squirrel. Hi, buddy. Do you wanna go outside? Do you got pee pee? Oh. Okay, don't bark. Connor, you coming? Yep. All right. Come on. Okay. Oh, the grass is very green because we are in the rainy season now. And this is what my yard looks like right now. Just got mowed a couple days ago. I wanted to show you guys a few things that are actually live on the site right now by the time this goes live. Um, I launched earrings and I am excited about it. I started very simple. I've got these, which are the celestial stone earrings and they come in different uh, sizes. So some of them have one stone, two stone, three stone, depending on how long you like your earrings. I have these, which I love. These are the star seed earring. And I also have um, these. These are very similar to the Celestial Stone, but they have a ring at the bottom. And those are the Harmony earrings, and I love those as well. And just like the others, they come in different sizes because, you know, I'm all about customizing. I have some things back here that I was just messing around, nothing that's going live yet. But um, yeah, so I have earrings, some things that are not for your eyes. And then I also am, some more things not for your eyes. I have dainty jewelry this time. So I wanted to mix it up for layering purposes. I have more statement pieces coming um, in July. But these, let me just take one off. These are the connected bar necklaces. They have tiny four millimeter faceted stones. This is garnet. I ha also have a bunch of new stones I'm launching. Garnet being one of them. And this is 24 karat, is it 24, 18? I think this is 24 karat um, gold fill chain. So this will last a long time. I have a, a convertible necklace too. This is the as above necklace and they come connected or um, apart, but you can buy them individually. Check out the site. I actually, I'm doing a whole video, so it's probably live. I'll link it in the description. But you know, I've been looking at other jewelry brands and they're charging astronomical prices for gold plating. And this is gold fill and I'm charging less than some people are for gold plating, which is crazy to me. I'm trying to price things fairly, like basically to cover my costs and to have money to reinvest any profits meaning like if i make let's say ten dollars from the sale of a necklace it's going back into the business because i'm using it to buy stones and chain and materials so i'm not really making money off this just yet maybe you know maybe down the line but i'm just basically trying to make some awesome products and spread the love Oh, the other thing too is like I'm taking a lot of things off the site so anything you may have gotten um, or may have been wanting to get like some of these bracelets and stuff they are these are all mine these are the ones that I uh, made for shooting for the site I also have all of my um, necklaces up here a lot of these um, this style is going away so you're not going to be able to get these anymore. So if you've been thinking about it, like now's the time, I have a limited edition section and I'm going to be like, some things will stick around indefinitely, but some things I'm going to move out just so that I keep 
my inventory and what and my website, you know, not overwhelming. These are anklets that I'm also launching this month and I love them. I wear them also. I have two on, I have amethyst and green adventuring. But um, yeah, I love an anklet for summertime because it's just such a nice way to keep the vibes on you. So these are all the stones that they come in. And these are zodiac beads, so you can customize. I look magnificent. Last month, I think, in my last month's vlog, I mentioned that I was kind of like, I don't know, very unmotivated because my channel isn't growing and people are not watching my videos. And that's why I haven't really been posting a ton of content. Oh my God. Take this out. <laughs> That's like a little better anyway. Some of you had suggested me to post my TikTok content on YouTube Shorts. I did that and that has been amazing. So I just wanted to say thank you for that piece of advice. And I cannot stand looking at myself like this. Oh my God, I have like leftover mascara on my face. But thank you for that advice. And I've been posting a video every single day. So now you're getting a lot more content from me, but it's short form content. Let me know how you feel about the short form content. Are you into it? You know, if I were to continue with all the makeup content in short form for now and just continue doing vlogs and then whenever my jewelry launches i'll do a video on that so you guys can see it is that cool let me know what you think all right my mom is on her way over because i have to dog sit for her she's going away for a week so i'm gonna have three dogs so that's gonna be a fun time i am just running to the store right now um, I forgot to put on lipstick. So I just like threw some on, but I am like trying out this new Huda concealer and I don't, I don't think I like it. I did a first impression on my TikTok and um, actually I posted it to Instagram also. Like I don't think it's better than the Benefit Boing Cakeless. If I'm being honest. No, I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it been decided i am running to the store i've been really wanting granola keto granola to me granola is a bit of a like a splurgy food and it's thursday not friday i usually reserve splurges for the weekends um but i'm in the process of making homemade coconut yogurt well i'm trying it it's so finicky making coconut yogurt it has to be the the a certain brands of coconut milk or coconut cream and certain probiotics i've done it before but like with different brands and i don't i live in the middle of nowhere so i don't have access to all the same brands as i used to when i lived like in vegas or la i have a yogurt maker so i'm trying it but my favorite yogurt is coco yo but it's like six dollars for a little thing of it it's crazy expensive anyway i posted on instagram stories this gut friendly yogurt bowl i'm obsessed with it i put pineapple and mostly just pineapple but sometimes papaya but i make it like it tastes like a pina colada in a in a bowl it's amazing but i put collagen and chia seeds and this keto granola that doesn't have any sugar or any grains it's very clean for granola granola is typically loaded in sugar so anyway I'll show you the book that I'm reading I'm reading this new book called lifespan it's actually I don't think the book itself is new but it's new to me it's called lifespan this Harvard researcher has pretty much cracked the code on aging I'll get into that later but I've made some changes because I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with aging he says we can reverse it. I'm going to try. You bet your bottom dollar. So anyway, I am off to the store right now. Hi, Georgia. Hi, sweetie. 
I totally forgot to wrap up the vlog. It's now July, so it's me from the future, but I just wanted to end it and say thanks for hanging out with me this month, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.